Okay, Toyota Supra 2JZ GT valve stem seals replacement. Now this is just gonna be the process of actually doing it. Now let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing we're gonna need is a toil tool. This is specifically made for the 2JZ. I'll put the link in the bottom. You have a magnet in here, so whenever you're removing uh, the, uh, the keepers, this will actually keep it from falling down, and then your installation tool. We will show you how that works here in a second. We also have the valve seal, stem seal remover itself. We tape the edges, because taking off these valve seals are actually really hard. They are not easy to take off. Um, and not only that, I recommend using a, uh, a rag so you can get better grip on this because as you mess with the seals, your hands get oily and you're gonna lose grip right here. Okay, so we're gonna be using the uh, Viaton seals for the, um, for the 2JZ. Viaton, I might've mispronounced that, but that this is actually a better material than the OEM material. Toyota Supers are known for bad valve stem seals, so this is why we're doing this. And, uh, and these are an upgrade. Before we start the job, one thing you want to do is put some paper towels in whatever area you're going to be removing the keepers at. You want to put them kind of where the oil galleries are at. You want to put there so if the keepers fall, they fall in a paper towel and you don't fall somewhere where you can't retrieve them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the spring and the keepers and the extra parts so we can get to the seal itself. So we're going to be using this part of the tool of the Toyota tool with the magnet part. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the tool square, which I just recently learned what square means. It means make sure that it's even. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna, as much as you can, because there's this part right here is messing with it, it's actually gonna help us a little bit. Okay, and then at this point in time, I'm gonna use this tool because it actually requires some force. You don't, you don't wanna hesitate because you pretty much got one shot. If you don't do it right, one of the keepers will get stuck and it'll give you a lot of trouble. So you got one good shot to give it a good press. Let's see if we can do it correct. All right, so as you saw, I just did it. I didn't push strong enough. I only got one keeper. I'm gonna put it in our tray over here. Elise had a great idea. She's behind the camera and she's been helping out. Is to put these keepers on a paper towel, for now, on a shop towel, so we don't, because that's a strong magnet. And then we're gonna come back and then try again. It's important for you guys to see this because this is gonna happen. Uh, with the DIY that I'm reading from a Superforms, uh, the guy said that this happened to him half the time as he saw it happen to me. So we're gonna try it again. We'll try to get this. All right, this time around, we've got the keeper and we have the top part. All right, we have this thing that it's actually not for the, uh, the Supra, but we're using it, utilizing it. It's for a valve train for a different type of vehicle. I'm putting that there so I know where it's at and then the other keeper right there to keep ourselves organized. Okay, at this point in time, we're gonna pull out the spring. The most important part about this is when you pull out the spring, you wanna keep the orientation up. And you wanna, using this, this little bucket we bought from Amazon, it's gonna help us do that. Now this is the part that I was telling you that you would think it's easy to remove. If you come over here, we're gonna be uh, putting this tool around here. Sorry if the focus is not working well, and then we're gonna pull it out. For some reason, it's not as easy as you think it is. Okay, so I'm gonna come in. I don't know if Lisa, if you could get as close as you can there. We're gonna put this tool, can you see that? I'm gonna put this tool inside here. Can you actually see inside it? All right, if you need to come around. All right, you see that guys? All right, tools inside there. Okay, so now I'm going to position myself and that's why we have the tape because it's actually a pain in the butt. And I put this around here because you will slip. It actually requires a lot of force. All right, guys, and we got it off. All right, at this point in time, come over here, and you're not done yet with removal. We're gonna look at it, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with our cool Surefire, and we're gonna look inside there, and we're gonna make sure that there's no residue of the 
and there actually is on this one. There is actually part of the seal is still in there. So we're gonna go ahead and get our tool to remove that. And the tool is going to be a dental pick. Now, can you see that inside there? Okay. All right, so with our dental pick, we're gonna come in just like a dentist and we're gonna be trying to pull this off. And there it is, you see that guys? All right, that's what you wanna remove. Okay, now we're gonna go double check that there's nothing inside there. And there isn't. Okay, now that we inspected that around the uh, valve stem, everything is clear from the old uh, valve seal. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna get one of our new seals. Um, I highly recommend the uh, engine assembly lube. It's actually quite sticky. This stuff is, and what I'm gonna do is, I know that's a lot, but I'm just gonna put some inside here with my pinky because that's the only thing that fits in there. And then with my pinky, I'm gonna to come to the top. I'm gonna to make sure I get a little bit around that area. Seems a little messy. I might have used a little bit more. I went too liberal on it, but it's not gonna hurt it. It's in the assembly loop. Okay. Now, at this point in time, going back and using a fancy word I learned recently, we're gonna put this on square. And what that means is we're going to gently just let it right on there. And then usually looking at it, we're going to gently push down on it. All right, so when I did that, I felt it go on there. And then I'm gonna push it down. And the reason why is in order for me to put the tool in there, the toilet tool in there, um, it's got a magnet, so if you put it in there when it's on the top, it's, it's gonna just pull it up. So you wanna push it in there a little bit. So using the same toilet tool that we have, we're gonna go ahead and position ourselves. You know, I've been debating between, now somebody said you're supposed to hear double click or you're supposed to hear a little, some type of click. I don't hear anything. I just, I don't know if it's because of the super slick linear engine lube. All right, so once that's in there, guys, we're gonna go ahead and push down. And then what I like to do, and this might be a little extra just OCD craziness, is I pull this up, and I'm gonna connect this, and I just give it one little tug with this, and I think we're good. Okay, so now let's reassemble. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the spring that we got, make sure the orientation is correct. And again, using our famous word is we're gonna make sure it's square. How I do that is I just rotate it. And if it rotates nicely, we know it's in there. Then we're gonna get the top of this and I keep avoiding the name of it because I think I forgot. And this is the most important part. Your keepers right here, guys, you have a, a thinner side and a larger side diameter wise. And of course, you're gonna put your keepers thinner in. So the small side inside. Boop. And goes from there. So it's kind of like now to help yourself out, I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna gently place, oh, gently place this right here. And at that point in time, now I'm gonna get the tool and we're gonna be flipping the tool. So let me come around here and show you guys. All right, so you see that's the part with the magnet side? We don't want that. We're gonna flip it and now we have the installation side. At this point in time, I'm gonna put this little nipple thing on here square Again, that's no square for the fifth time, I think. And it's important. Now remember, all this is, this one's also a one-shot thing. Sometimes if you get it in, only one in right, then you're gonna have to redo everything. So the most important thing is do it, get your, your, your self position and try to do one good pump in, 
and try to do it correctly because you're going to have to do it again if you don't. All right, three, two, one. And it's in there. So, Elise and I have been talking about how do we determine if it's in there, and for us, there's a lip around the top of the valve uh, stem. There's kind of a lip, and you can see the keepers are on that lip. So, there it goes. All right, guys, I hope this helped. The reason why I'm making this video in, the, in between of a major service that I'm doing to the Supra is because I look for videos to help me out and I couldn't find any videos. I mean, I found a video for Toil Tool. I'll put that in the description. And also found random people doing this, but I kind of wanted to give, you know, my view on it. Now, as always, use this as a supplemental to whatever information or knowledge you have. Um, one big thing about, about mechanics and engineering is you just take a lot of data and you try to put together the best instructions you have. So just use this. If I miss something, put it in the comment section so people could read this and learn from you for an extra tip or advice. But guys, thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe to Driver's Therapy. We're all about cars and we're all about uh, just showing the, the love. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you soon.